Hey Virgo, how's it going? Welcome to your November general reading. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you always for your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, sweet comments, all that kind of stuff. I'm so grateful for you. As we always do right after this general reading, I go right into your love reading and that's the one where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love and we do your love reading. If you wanna join that one, it's the first link in the description box below my email, Instagram, TikTok, my new channel, Jacqueline Smith, all that other stuff to also connect with me if you want a personal email. Um, all that kind of stuff is in the description box below, okay? And I am picking one of y'all's cards at the end of this reading. Don't forget. So that'll be towards the end. All right. These messages are for my Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your November general message. We've got three more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Virgo at this time? Okay. All right, Virgo. Ooh. Yes, y'all have the King of Pentacles, strong earth energy here. Some of you are feeling really good at your workplace, career, in yourself, knowing your worth is coming in really big, knowing the value of you, knowing that you're super special, you're super divine. Um, I, I'm hearing empowered. You might have felt very empowered recently. Some of you also could have gotten like a raise or some some extra like money, funds, a home, something like that, where you're really, really in a very strong position right now and a strong energy. I love that for you, Virgo. Very good. Okay, let's see what's coming through. We've got the King of Wands in reverse out first with the lovers. Maybe that's a partner for some of you. Aries, Leo, Sag. Three of Pentacles in reverse. What's going on with Virgo? Let's get some other cards out here. We've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, and the Four of Wands. So I feel like this is definitely you over here in your Pentacles energy, male or female watching. This is just the feminine energy coming through. Again, really harnessing your energy, working on your energy, making plans right now, making plans that I'm hearing are going to last and things that are going to bring balance into your life. Okay, so I really feel a lot of like solid money, work, career things working out for you. There is something over here about a partnership, okay, that could be a romantic partnership, a work partnership a family partnership, these are general, whatever that means to you. It seems like someone there could be a version of you that someone seems very closed off with their actions. Someone seems very um, not wanting to participate. Someone doesn't want to take any action here. I just kind of see, I'm seeing 12-12. I'm seeing 12-12 for y'all. Um, you know, that's the energy of a six and you have the six right here. So sixes or twelves or threes could be very significant to you. And we also have a three here. That is really significant. I feel like a lot of you are aligning with your true self and ascending right now. And, it, and I really feel like this could be other people that are just not on your level or not on the same path as you right now. And, and that could be someone that used to work with, someone used to build your life with. And I feel like right now they're just, their energy is a little on the back burner. Okay, but you, the what, the what you're doing for yourself is absolutely amazing. I feel like you're waiting for some of these beautiful seeds that you've planted to come to fruition. So keep watering your garden. Keep keep your your energies uh, positive. Keep it in the light. You know what I mean. Keep all of the things that you want to keep going about yourself, about your energy, about your worth. Keep all of that good stuff up because it will work out for you. Whatever that is, balance will be restored here. What else is going on with Virgo? Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse under this King of Wands. 
So again, could be a fire sign or sign, doesn't really matter, but this person's actions are very standoffish right now. And I feel like the path that you've had with this person, project, whatever this is, is coming to a stop, okay? Or maybe already has for some of you. Could be on a romantic field with a, a knight of cups in reverse. Could be a romantic partner for some of you. We have the wheel of fortune in reverse. Virgo. We have the star in reverse. We have the nine of swords in reverse. That's really good. And then we have the ace of swords with the moon at the bottom of the deck right now. The nine of wands and the three of cups. And then the nine of pentacles. Okay, and then the five of pentacles. Again, so I kind of feel this energy right now, Virgo, where... Maybe there's something like a partner, maybe a group of friends. There's someone or a group of people around you that are not really showing up. They're not really showing up. They're not really showing a lot of strong compassion and action towards you or towards whatever it is that you're doing. And that's them and that's their journey. So we're just going to put that on the back burner because this person doesn't want to walk this path with you right now or whatever that is meaning to you, okay? But you on your own, you might feel a little confused with the moon card energy here about what this really is. You could also feel very tired and burdened at the same time, but you're a warrior here with this nine of wands. You have so much to celebrate, three of cups to the nine of pentacles. You have so much to celebrate within you, within your own self, within your own business, career. You will have something to celebrate, some type of good news, um, something that's coming to fruition. Again, maybe a job, maybe a an extra project, maybe an inheritance, something like that. Because... You feel very lonely right now with this five of pentacles energy. You feel very lonely from whoever I guess wasn't, um, it's like someone you were working with or someone that you were involved with. Again, there's something there that's just kind of over there like on the back burner now, right? And I feel like you had a lot of hopes in regards to this situation. You had a lot of hopes, but you're realizing Hey, I don't need to put all my eggs in that basket. That's what I just heard. I don't need to put all my eggs in that basket. I need to put the eggs in my own basket because when you do that, when you really focus on yourself, your worth, your time, who you give your time to, who you surround yourself with, you absolutely start to just love yourself and just radiate worth and brilliance and value and who doesn't want to be around someone like that? Like you're attracting so much in your life right now with this kind of energy. This is really, really, really good. Even though for some of you, you might feel a little bit kind of out on your own, that kind of vibe here, but you're doing it. You're doing the dang thing. I'm going to do some clarifiers here. We have this ace of swords in reverse under you. It's like you can't, it's like for some of you, I want to say, do you really not know your own worth? Do you really not know your own value of yourself? Why is this Ace of Swords in reverse here? If someone dipped out on you, that's their problem. If someone doesn't want to show up and show strong action with you, whatever this is about for you, that's a reflection on them and has nothing to do with you, okay? Let's go into this Ace of Swords. Spirit, please clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse for Virgo. High Priestess. <laughs> Three of Cups out again. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles, you know, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like you've been really fighting for something, fighting for someone, fighting for something, really, really Seven of Wands energy having to do with your past, something or someone that you've maybe not seen eye to eye with, right? Could be a soulmate for some of you, but it's like there's still something to celebrate. Again, I feel like what you're not understanding, the truth that you're not seeing about yourself is that there's again, again, there's a message here that you are worth everything. Celebrate even the smallest things is what I'm picking up for you, right? Like when we get kind of low or down on ourselves, sometimes the smallest things like making our bed or taking a shower can seem dreadful. <laughs> and I kind of feel like for some of you, you're just like, yeah, I'm great at what I'm doing, da, 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 but you feel lack somewhere else. And for you to turn that around and really embrace 
this wonderful, beautiful energy that we're coming into and that you truly are picking up on of what you're manifesting with this queen of pentacles energy. It's like your intuition is telling you that you are worth celebrating. Everything that you have, if it's making your bed, that's, this is like representing home and your responsibilities and your day-to-day -day kind of energy I'm picking up here. And three of cups is like, yes, celebratory. So celebrate you, celebrate the small victories. If you did your job today, celebrate that. If you woke up today and took a shower, celebrate that. If you got up and fed your kids or fed your dog, celebrate that. Celebrate yourself and start continue, start to get in that energy. And for some of you, continue to stay in that energy. Because I feel like some of you are like almost right there and some of you are already doing the dang thing. <laughs> Let's clarify a couple of more. Um, let me get some water. Why do we have this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I really feel like you're disappointed in someone that's just not truly there for you. Like you're feeling disappointed. Again, kind of your like eggs all in one basket kind of vibe. Queen, Queen of Pentacles, no. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Let's clarify. Yeah, Five of Cups, Strength card, maybe a Leo for some of you. Maybe y'all are Virgo on the on the Leo cusp for some of you. Yeah, you're really disappointed. You're really disappointed, right? The three pentacles here in reverse are, this is something of your past or of your recent past, for sure. A path or something that's ended. Why is the star in reverse? Yeah, Hierophant, you really believed in this. Could be dealing with the Taurus for some of you. You really truly believed in this person, this project, this 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 team, this group, this, this togetherness, you really believed in it. I do like the nine of swords in reverse because I feel like this has been difficult for you, but nine of swords in reverse is a lot of y'all are starting to actually sleep better at night. Let's clarify the nine of swords in reverse. Yeah. I mean, 10 of cups, you're actually feeling a huge weight. You may not feel it immediately, but I feel like after a couple days or whatever that means to you of you doing you, celebrating the smallest little things, it'll start to, it'll start a trend within yourself. You're just like, oh my gosh, I did just do this. I did just put on that thing. I did just, you know, feed my dog or go for a walk. And it's just the little things. Like give yourself a little pat on the back there and you'll start to see that you can accomplish and do more things and be proud of it, right? Because for some of you right now, you're feeling a little maybe low, like, oh, this person's not there for me after all, or whatever that is about for you. Who needs them? Who freaking needs them? Who needs them? I feel like this person was actually stressing you out a lot more than you realized. It's like, what is that saying that they're, they're I know I'm going to mess this up. But there's some kind of saying, like, you don't know how hot it is until you're out of the boiling water. Like, you've been in warm water, the water got hot. You're like, oh, I don't know, something doesn't feel right, but I'm already in it. And you're like, okay, now it's burning. And I feel like you or the other, like, whatever it is that you're now out of that boiling water, it was stressful. It was hard for you. I feel like you were putting so much heavy mental energy into this person, situation, whatever this is. And now that it's over... Look at you, look at you, Ten of Cups, getting everything that you want. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. What are y'all planning on? What is this about your, your seeds of intention here? Let's clarify this for Virgo. Lovers, Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're working on you. You're doing you. You know your worth, being independent, doing the hustle, financially free for some of you, really, really doing good on the earthly plane here. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're planting a seed for a new partnership to come in, a new lover for some of you, a new work project, whatever that is for you. And it will, it will, Six of Pentacles, bring balance here, Gemini energy for some of you. When we get the lover's card, this is so, so beautiful, no matter what the reading is about, work, career, lovers, friends, family. This is a divine partnership coming right to you. Something that you are now being granted because you have you have more space now. Because I feel like this, this situation over here 
that's now in reverse, now that that's off the table or on the back burner or out of the way, how, whatever that is for you, you've now cleaned up the space energetically. You're now clear, feeling good within you. And every seed that you plant now is really, really working towards calling in this, this partnership, right? And with the lovers, it's your choice. You get to choose you get to choose if you want to embrace that or not. What a lovely, lovely reading for you, Virgo. I am absolutely thrilled for you. Um, keep your heads up. Don't let what other, I, I want to say this one more time. Don't, don't ever let someone else's actions affect you. And I know that's easier said than done. If someone's not acting right towards you, if someone's not giving you what you know you deserve, that's a reflection on them, not on you. Okay, I love y'all so much. Okay, let's do the pick a card. I need more water. <clears throat> All right, so for this time, the winner is Selena Contreras. Selena Contreras, your handle is Celine Bean. So cute. Um, so I'm gonna pull a couple cards for Selena. Virgo, if you want me to pick your card in the next reading, make sure you're subscribed. It's only for subscribers and simply just leave your name in the comment down below. And right after this, we're gonna go do the love reading and seeing what's going on with the other person you're dealing with in love. So if you wanna check that out, just click the link below. All right, Selena, this is for you, my love. She's a Virgo. I call in her uh, angels and guides at this time. This is for Selena Contreras. Celine Bean, so cute. There's three more. Spirit, what message do we have for Selena? Selena Contreras, she's a Virgo. Selena Contreras, she's a Virgo. What's her message? Four of Wands, beautiful energy. Could be connecting with the fire sign, but look at you. Selena, this is totally you feeling good in your home, good in your in the commitments that you've honored to yourself, possibly also in a partnership. This is a marriage card. And I also feel I'm looking actually at this little white bird or dove with her, and I really feel like you've found a sense of freedom here. And that is definitely worth celebrating. All right, Spirit, what is Selena's message? Queen of Wands, possible Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Death, Scorpio, maybe. Yeah, Two of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Cups also in reverse here. So I kind of feel like there could be a fire sign you were dealing with that things are maybe coming to an end, okay? And that you've made a decision, I feel like with this Two of Swords in reverse, this has been your decision to not put in any more effort into this person, okay? What advice do we have here for Selena over this situation? So I feel like either you're going through a transformation, I'm picking that up as well with this death card, I feel like you're going through a transformation and I feel like a part of your transformation is not dealing with other people's BS. What's the advice that we have here for Selena? Magician in reverse and we have the four of cups in reverse and the knight of wands. There's something that you feel like you have to do that you would be really brave of you to do. But with the advice here with the magician in reverse and the four of cups in reverse, I feel like emotionally you might not be ready to make a move yet. Because I feel like with this queen of wands also, Selena, that you might want to take action in something. Like towards somebody because I'm getting, I'm getting that now double right with these in, in the upright i kind of feel like you want to take some brave action towards someone it could be something or someone that you've had an ending with but i feel like maybe the time is not is is not right now but maybe in a couple more weeks i'm seeing four so maybe in the next four weeks or so something like that that is something about you emotionally um coming out of the blue here i need one more for you I want to clarify the death card and you got the Hierophant in reverse. So yeah, I feel like you're making an ending. Uh, you are, there's an ending here of again, someone that you believed in or possibly were married to. You're not putting any more effort or energy into it right now. Um, 
I know you want to manifest new things into your life, but there is something about uh, your emotions. But once you kind of clear those emotions in the next couple of days or weeks, however long that takes you, doesn't matter on time, you have a, a blessing coming in, a huge Huge blessing coming in, Selena. Wow, huge. Uh, judgment, yeah, this is spirit's got your back. You're going to the next level, baby. That's real big for you. Very good, all right. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you, Selena, for being a subscriber. And let's go do y'all's love reading. I'll see y'all there, bye.